We got hip hop royalty in the building, man. Mm. Taking it from the old school to the new school and meeting right in the middle. Jermaine Dupree is in the building. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, this young lady, you can see her everywhere. She got a brand new joint coming out. Young, or well, that girl Lele is in the building. Also, young Dylan yes, as sir. well, man. You guys are everywhere. We can't escape y'all. Yeah, you know, we doing big things. <laughs> I love yeah. them. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Soon as we soon as they came in the room, you see the star power. They outshining you, JD. How you gonna let them do that? It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Ah, we can never outshine a legend. <laughs> yeah, true. It's true fact. Good. Whoa, look at the PR game. Oh, I love yeah, that. it's nice. Man, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they got it. They got it. They I got mean, it. JD, it seems like you've always had a knack for finding young talent. You know what I'm saying? Young, coachable talent at that. Mm -hmm. And you uh, produced this new record that uh, is getting ready to drop. Man, what was it about them that, you know, he's like, you know what? I need to make something happen with these two. Well, I mean, with, with Lele, it's 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 kind of been in the in the universe for a minute because um, I, when I, you know, when Lele first got on Instagram, I think 50 Cent hit me and he sent her a picture to me and she was rapping and everybody was like, Jermaine, you need to sign Lele. So then I reached out to her and I was trying to, and I was like, oh, she from the South side. She from my side of town. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's kind of been in the in the universe for me and Lele to work together. And then um, with Dylan, um, it was, he got, he, you know, he got like three TV shows, right? He got, he got three TV <laughs> shows. And in the midst of them doing the new show on Nickelodeon, they was just like we want to we want to have we want to have a record. So then they called me, and then I checked them out, and I'm like let's let's see what's up. So he sent them to Atlanta. We got in the studio. We started working, and then we came up with two songs, um, and then they got this idea that they, that since they both got TV shows, they both got shows coming. I mean, they shows are on actually. They show they both got the two shows, uh, that come on Thursday, right? What, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, my show Thursday. come uh Thursday seven o'clock. Mine's Thursday seven thirty. Yeah, so see, they both got shows at the same you know, on the same network. Um, so then we just decided to do a duet with them both on the same song, um, and that's that's what's up. I love that. And then it's two black producers as well. You have Tyler Perry and Will Packer that's yeah. backing both shows. <laughs> yeah. So how does that feel? Does Tyler Perry reach out to to y'all and and give advice, or Will Packer? Do you speak to them about your TV shows at all? Uh, I speak to Will Packer. He probably speaks. Tyler yeah, Perry. Tyler Perry, because, yeah, Tyler Perry produced my uh, show. We on season two right now. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, it was just so fun meeting him and talking to him. He taught me a lot of things while we were on set. Because, like, when I had my first show, like, I didn't even have to audition. So, like, it was, like, pretty much, like, I was on, a, like, a different sound. Like, everything was for me. And I was like, all right, bet. I, I, I can get I can, I can get in this. I already knew the lines. Yeah. I think the hardest part was, like, doing the lines. Was, like, I didn't. I was like, Dad, I don't feel like learning the lines right now. Was that really hard, difficult, learning those and memorizing the lines? Um, like, we did them in one day. Like, we did one episode each day. So, like, sometimes we had to remember the lines, like, like 12 o'clock. Right. Oh, and wow. then, yeah, come there. Yeah. But, like, it was it was easy. But, like, at the same time, I ain't feel like it because I wanted to hop on the game. <laughs> but that's going to make you so dangerous as you get older and, like, keep doing this because mm -hmm. you're used to working super hard. Yep. And yeah. as we get ready for your show, too, mm -hmm. that girl Lele, like, you know, how excited are you for the world to see you in this different light? Because you've been cooking up music for a while. Yeah. I I'm very excited. I've always wanted to do something with acting, and I was really lucky to get this TV show because when I tried to start acting, I would be doing a bunch of auditions and like I wouldn't get them so I got discouraged and I was like, you know what? I'm a sex rap and this is what I get for trying to get into a new wave. <laughs> and then I got my TV show and um seems to be doing really well so I guess I'm doing good. <laughs> Where were you when you got the call about your TV show? I believe I was in Atlanta. I was in Houston when I first signed to Nickelodeon and I remember it like going everywhere on the internet and I would go like in public and people were like, oh, you just on a Nickelodeon. It uh -huh. was a big thing for for me, so. What was your favorite shows on Nickelodeon before before you two had shows? Mine was SpongeBob, um, Fairly Odd Parent, <laughs> Hey Arnold, Rugrats. I like uh, Lil Bill, Umi Zoomies. I like all like the, the uh, Cartoon Network joints <laughs> too. Lil Bill was on Nickelodeon? Yeah, Lil Bill was on Nickelodeon. Lil Bill was late, though. I used to watch his show all the time. And he took it away. <laughs> <laughs> and Blue's Clues, he just made that little video. Oh, yeah. How Blue's did you 
was still tough. when you got to see OG Steve come back I after all good. these years. That used to be gone. my show. That was tough. Like I, I usually, I, I, I literally got in trouble. I always got in trouble for watching it and staying up late. I just watched Wait, it all so night. So you knew who Steve was because there was so many different yeah. hosts in between. Yeah, I don't even know the new, the new Blues Clues. Me neither. Like, I, I, <laughs> met, I met, I met, I met new Blues Clues uh, host, but like. The OG, like you can't take it away. Like, you can't take it away. <laughs> they had the same impact on that, you. They like had the did. same impact on me. Like I didn't really feel like they was the actual host. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because the new Blues Cools host, he can sing a little bit. He so, can. He can. So what's the possibility He's of Young Dylan, for... that girl Lele, and Jermaine Dupri like working on a record together <laughs> with the new Blues Cools guy, like you know, <laughs> singing? I don't know. Oh, I don't know about <laughs> that, but uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, I'm down. He might know how to swag to be on the record with them. Yeah, like, he need to be drippy. We need to get him hipped on. Like, oh. like my show, we need to get him playing and stuff. What's the first thing? Would you make him lose the shirt? Yeah. Does he, do, does he need a different we, we shirt? We're going to have to get him a designer collar shirt. Yeah, yeah, a few je- jewelry in there. You know, earrings, watch. <laughs> this is crazy. You know a little something about a little something because you asked me about my glasses. You was talking about sneakers. Yeah. And you said you prefer... Sneakers over the glasses, right? That's your facts, thing. Facts. So, so what's the last sneaker that you bought that you really wanted, or you bought because you have your own money, so that you really was wanting for? I got some Dunks. I got some Dunks. Mm-hmm. I got some um, Dior's that I got on now. I got... Did you just say Dior's? Yeah. You definitely got on Dior's right now. Okay. And then I got <laughs> some the Yeezy Foam joints. Those joints tough. Yeah. yeah the the, Yeezy Foam. The new wave is the off-white Dunks. Oh, okay. yeah, I, 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 I want to get those, too. I had too. to get them. There was yeah. no, and the shimmers and the light and fall. So are y'all what? paying the resale price? Or you see do you, the shit? Okay. Hey. He didn't dirty his up. That's not how they look for real. <laughs> like, man, some people do like their shoes dirtied up. Like, they're designed their shoes dirty up. Like, J. Cole said, like, he like his shoes kind of dirty, too. So, but do I y'all do the it. resale thing, or are y'all getting a plug? Are they sending it straight to you? You got the plug. Yeah, I, got a plug. I need your plug. I'm going okay, right the stadium that. good. You, <laughs> you know, you know, big plug is, you know, Pat Moon. You know, he the biggest shoe plug right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Nickelodeon about to be Nike loading. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, real quick, so, J.D., you've worked with a little bit of everybody, right? Yeah. Is it more easy to work with people like Young Dylan and that girl Lele in the studio or like, you know, like the older people have been doing it? Because it seems like at this age, you can still kind of like, you know, hey, check this out. This, I think, is the best way to do it. Some people are setting their ways. Nah, I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't think it's easy. It ain't easy to work with anybody. It's just, you have to like, I mean, you just got to do your education on all of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, it's, it's probably harder for a person like me to just like keep up with everything. But I mean, I, I guess that's just what God gave me the gift to be able to do that. But it's really you got to be able to keep up with everybody so that you can, you know, um, at least when you get in the studio, you make a record for them that feels like them and they understand it. Like this feels like our record. It don't feel like he trying to make us make somebody else song. or It don't feel like we trying to do something that ain't even in their they age bracket. You know what I'm saying? So it's really it's it's, it's I, I won't say it's a lot of thought that goes into having to do records for younger artists and even older artists, because a lot of older artists, if you if you're into uh, if I'm in the studio too long with these kids and I bring some of that energy into the studio with some of the older artists, they can't really swing the same way that the younger artists move. So it's just you just have to be. You have to switch it on and switch it off and just figure it out. But we've seen that there's a lot of artists doing collabs with them. We've seen Bum B, Young Dolph, Young Dolph you got records <laughs> yeah. with, right? Mm-hmm. And how does that feel even like being able to help them kind of mash the two worlds together with the old school and the new school? Well, I think for Lele, you know, since she's from Houston, it's a, it, it, it gives her opportunity. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of the Houston artists want to work with her and that, that so, so, when it comes into that area for her, I don't think it goes into a younger, older thing. I think it's more like a cultural thing. Mm. Yeah. Like, she represents the, the H. They represent the H. So it's like they looking at it from, like, a young young artist from the H-Town to and, and an older artist from the H-Town doing it. Um, I think that as if they was, like, to, like, get on records with, with – people that's just not from that same region because yeah. they talk about the same things like in the song she talking about going to you know um to johnny dang yeah, uh jury yeah. spots and all of this the they're just talking about the same things but i think if you get on a record and you're not with you know you're not from that area and y'all not talking about the same things then they have to start trying to think about the older artists have to think about how they can get in that box with these kids you know because right. i was gonna ask do you turn anyone down because they're a little too racy 
for their audience? Well, I mean, for, I, um, I mean, for they for their records, I mean, you know, um, their records shouldn't be racy at all. You know, what I mean, it's 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 a, it's an audience out there that 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 needs music, right? And it's a lot of kids that's that's Dylan's age, twelve to Lele's age, fourteen that need. You know, these kids that's on TikTok, they listen to music that's got all kind of profanity. They're saying all kind of wild stuff. Right. So, you know, ultimately, um, like this record that we have right now, I'm not, I, I just wanted to make sure that this record was just like a record for all the parents that, that feel like their kids are getting lost in listening to music that they shouldn't be listening to. Mm-hmm. Um, I hope that these kids could be like that that road to go down there. I'm not doing all their music, so I'm just saying I pray that's why I say I hope I hope that they could be the road to go down that, you know, that road to like lead people, lead these kids in a different direction. Cause I got an eleven year old daughter, you know what I mean? So and my daughter listens to stuff on TikTok yeah, and she shouldn't say, be she listening. Listen right. she's, <laughs> she she makes TikToks with you know, songs that she shouldn't be listening to, but it's like, you know, Ultimately, you can't follow your kids. I mean, you could follow your kids around the house, but ultimately, we don't follow our kids around the house. So if they go in the bathroom and they make a TikTok, you don't even actually even be knowing. You know, I mean, my mm-hmm. daughter makes TikToks everywhere we go. Like I'm talking about every 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 place that's got like a scenery. <laughs> she's trying to drop her phone and make a TikTok. So it's like. You know, you just got to make sure that uh, hopefully, they, you know, like I said, the music, it, it it gets cleaner based on these kids and, 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 and more, fam, you know, more kids start following it. But it's just got it's still got to be cool. It can't be like corny little kitty music. You know, you had a controversy around your name and with Northwest. Are you, are you and Northwest friends? Like, do you go over the house and hang out or was that like a one time thing? I did. Yeah. Like twice or three times I yeah. used to go over there. So after the video, did that kind of stop? Yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was a lot of cat going on, too. Was it? <laughs> what do you mean by cat? Well, when we used to make TikToks, the nanny, she would know, because I would send them to her, and she would send them to Kim, or I would show Kim before I posted them. Yeah. And I remember in one of the things they said, they said I was secretly recording. But mind you, there's, like, security on each corner of the house, and there's cameras on each corner of the house. Right. So they knew I was making them. And they knew that I was posting them because I would send them before I posted them. Okay. So I don't know what it was before when I did that one mixed with TikTok, but... Well, some people said you were dancing a little better than Northwest in the video, so they wanted it taken down after the comments got up there. No comments. <laughs> Boom. Well, check this out. Young Dylan, that girl Lele. Yeah. I want to have, like, a, a you know a face-off between the two of y'all. The uh-uh. game is called Who That Is. I'm going to show you some classic people got all you. throughout hip-hop culture. If you know the answer, say your name. Let's see who come out on top. All right? First one. Who's that? Chris Paul. Whoa, Young Dylan's quick with one point. And? Uh, oh, oh, uh, oh, Lil Mama. Boom! <laughs> this time. Uh, uh, Lil Mama, yo. Yeah. Uh, 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 that girl no, really no, 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 no. Uh, Omarion. Two more, and the last one's worth 23 points. Who's this? Uh, Bianca? Yep. Dang. That is oh. the name, Little B. I, 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 I know his name. Uh, uh, uh. Dang it, I know his name. Dang it, I know his name. But who, you know who he's playing right no. here? No. I don't know which character, because it's in the day. So it was Dylan, and they tried to say. <laughs> it's, old, it's old Dylan. But old actually, Dylan. old Dylan. Uh, Dave Chappelle playing Dylan in the Chappelle show. <laughs> you had to be there. Is All that right. when they were doing the rock stuff? Yeah. And he yeah. was trying to play Puff Diddy? Yes. This last one is worth 50 <laughs> points. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God. Um. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ah, Reed, 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 Reed. Oh, you're with the scale! Singles called I'm That, produced by the one and only Jermaine Dupri, yeah. Nickelodeon. We got Thursday night on lock right yes. now. Young Dylan yeah. at seven. Yup, you know it. That girl Lele at seven thirty. Oh yeah, and watch out for my other show coming out October fourteenth, the kid, the kids tonight show. You, you better talk shows. yourself. You oh yeah, one? three shows. Other one is Wednesday seven o'clock slime time, also on Nickelodeon. You better talk yourself. Yo, bro, what does that slime feel like? As a kid, I always wanted to get slimed on Nickelodeon. Man, the crazy cold. part is, I, I ain't get slimed though. You got slime? I'll touch, like, I've got it. Like, remember when we did Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and somebody fell in it. Somebody yeah. fell in the slime. I never got slime before, but I cannot wait till I get slime. And we can't we wait for Versus, too. Versus, right? <laughs> 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 Yo, 
right, JD? Nah, so, huh? We can't wait for verses. Maybe uh, whoever yeah, wins. I don't, I don't know about that. Slime I after. I don't, I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's going to happen. What? I, I don't know. Of course it's going to happen. I mean, you know, I guess. If y'all will it in, if y'all will it in, I don't know. Streets need it. Too yeah. much the hype streets around need it that. for yeah. it. Not you got too many joints, too many bullets yeah. in the chamber to not let that thing go. Of course. Of course. But yeah, I don't know if it's going to happen. Well, operators are standing by. <laughs> One time for Jermaine Dupree. Yeah. That girl, Lele, yo, yeah. Dylan. Yeah. We, we are the morning hustle.